So you saw a little bit of space-time axis diagram last time. So this is a space-time diagram. It's kind of what it sounds like. It's a diagram of space and time. Space on one axis, time on the other axis. So space on this axis, x, time on the other axis, um, t, or ct. So it's actually length units both ways. Um, but uh, I put in c here because I'm now getting a type of putting c here. Yeah. Um, and so if you want to draw a two-dimensional diagram, you will be deal, uh, dealing with only one-dimensional motion, which is fine. We are limiting ourselves in, or we are defining our coordinates axis in such a way that y and g things are kind of boring, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, so in this space-time diagram, you can represent what are called word lines, um, or trajectories of things in your world. So for example, with the axis that I was defining earlier, the S prime, uh, sorry, S frame, uh, when this object is here, I can draw the trajectory of this object. And the trajectory would look like, well, it starts out at some value x naught, and it just remains an x naught, right? So this will be the trajectory. This would be the world line of stationary tape. Yeah. Let me introduce one more object. So uh, we had this cart, which was defining the S prime coordinate, right? So let's say I arrange things in such a way that this is at x equals 0, at time equals 0 and it's moving at some constant speed. On this diagram, what would that look like? Some kind of a straight line, right? So it will be some kind of straight line that goes through zero. Now, will it be sort of close to the x-axis or close to the time axis? Close time axis, right? Imagine in one light, sorry, one year's amount of time, it's not going to go more than one light year away. It'll be something substantially shorter than one light year away. So, um, so something like this. So it goes through axis here, like this. Um, so this would be the um, world line of cart. And this world line actually defines an inertial reference, um, another inertial reference frame. And let me ask this one last question. Um, so this cart was the thing that defined the prime the axis. What do you think of the x prime position? Mm, let's see. All these points here, all the points along this line, what do you think of their x prime coordinate is? Any idea what x prime coordinate is? So, you know, the S, uh, S prime frame that we are trying to define was the frame that's defined by this cart, right? It's the frame that moves with the cart. So this point is X prime equals zero. Over time, is the location of the cart DX prime equals zero? Right? Yes? So for all of these points, all of these points, x prime is equal to 0 for all time. Um, like the coordinate system is moving. Yeah, it's moving with the cart. Right? So this, the line that I drew, that's the word line of the cart, that is actually the, uh, the transformed axis. I could call this ct prime. Because that's what t axis means. All the t axis means is the set of points where x is equal to 0. So ct prime axis is the, all the set of points where x prime is equal to 0. Good? Um, not all that surprising. 